Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Core Wellness TV. This is Dr. Steve and Rebecca behind the camera. Hello, I think I'm on there. <laughs> and today I'm going to go over, I don't know if I'll get through all of the six things on this particular video, but I'm going to start off talking about six ways that you can calm your central nervous system, balance your central nervous system to induce the healing response. And we're going to start today with a, um, a tale from Beatrix Potter the tale of the Flopsy Bunnies. And on the very first page of the tale of the Flopsy Bunnies, you can see that it is said that the effect of eating too much lettuce is soporific. I have never felt sleepy after eating lettuces, but then I am not a rabbit. But they certainly had a very soporific effect upon the Flopsy Bunnies. And you can see that's a wonderful picture of all of the Flopsy bunnies in dream state after a big hefty dose of sesquiterpene lactones. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. Ses sesquiterpene lactones are the sedative properties that are really heavy actually in wild lettuces. Um, actually the Hopi Indians used to, actually let's come over here, let's go right into this Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> and for instance, what, uh, the lettuce that they used, uh, my point here is that eating greens and bitter lettuces and the sap that comes out of the lettuces is what gives it its bitter flavor. And we ever, if you ever had an, a lettuce that got old, you might say, oh, that tastes bitter. But actually, that's the most medicinal part of the plant is the sap and the white stuff that comes out. And I'll show you an example of that. like. Here is the, uh, let's do, right here, it's getting ready to flower, so it's getting ready, and so we'll just crack this open. Well, let's get a piece that's a little more uh, thick. We'll just come right here. And when we take that off, you can see the sap that occurs is this white sap. Can you? Mm -hmm. Get that pretty good? Get you a new piece. Anyway, the sap that occurs, the Hopi Indians used to take that sap, dry it, and then actually smoke it to induce uh, more lucid dream states. And that's very interesting because when you look at the biochemistry of the lettuce sap, now I'm talking about wild lettuce sap. This is not, uh, you know, like this stuff. Uh, the black seeded Simpson, which has been bred for a milder flavor because it's more commercially acceptable that way, because no one would eat wild lettuces bitter because they would food. just spit it out because it would be too bitter. But the bitterness of lettuce it has so much powerful healing property. Um, uh, my point was that, like the Hopi Indians, like I said, used to dry the sap and actually smoke it as a way to, because the Hopi believed that dream state was more important than waking state, that dream state was their way to um, evolve and become more spiritually enhanced and all that kind of stuff. But the point is that the triterpenoids or the ses sesquiterpenes, I'm saying that incorrectly, anyway, they have a effect and they're structurally similar to opium. So, but they don't have the, the opioid effects, but when you eat high doses of these things, it does help uh, with calming the central nervous system. And I did a little research on that, and I believe, and it wasn't abundantly clear, but I think it blocks the, from what I could see, it blocks the, uh, the binding of glutamate, which is the excitatory neurotransmitter in your brain. So it blocks the excitation response of your brain. So it calms your central nervous system, acts as a sedative. Uh, there's actually a Roman emperor, I'm gonna get his name wrong, I actually wrote it down. Um, Domitian, D-O-M-I-T-I-A-N. Uh, he was a Roman emperor that was have said to have tortured. Uh, people were, were not allowed to fall asleep in his presence. And he would torture people by feeding them heaps of lettuce and making them uh, not fall asleep in his presence. So that was, a, a, I don't know if that's a true story or not, but it makes, a good, makes for a good story when you're talking about the sedative effects of lettuce. So I guess my point here is- uh, Bitter is good. Bitter is better essentially you know we have to you have to but we have developed such a taste for sweet that bitter is like really bitter but when you start 
really getting into the flavor of green food and, and appreciating the medicinal power that it has, it's just absolutely amazing uh, to think about all the things that it can do. Um, I had other, other couple notes on this. I didn't want, didn't want to make any... Uh... Oh, in Europe, they, uh, they serve it after. They serve the lettuce after the meal and to kind of induce kind of the uh, relaxing relaxation effect after the meal. And also, I believe it helps kind of push all of the contents of the rest of the meal through because it's got a, you know, a higher fiber content, obviously. So, uh, well, those are just a few things about calming the nervous system because whenever the nervous system is relaxed and calm, instead of, see, we're always fight, flight, moving, moving, wondering, you know, getting to the next place, thinking about what we're going to do next, worrying about this, fretting about that, gripping and grasping for things that are making us happy. When we can calm our nervous system through food and through green food especially, uh, we can induce the healing response, actually inducing a, rela a relaxation response. Um, and the other good thing about you know gardening and doing some of this yourself is that you're back to nature and you you actually it's a form of meditation I believe and it's you know it's on it's in all of a lot of research mindfulness about being in the present moment when you're gardening and when you're going through stuff like this you just are in the present moment you're not thinking about you know what's going on uh, at work tomorrow or whatever it is that you're trying to think about you just in the present moment uh, picking your lettuce and uh, tending to your garden. Uh, another way to get uh, that uh, grounding effect and that calming effect is also just through earthing. Like whenever I garden, I have my feet on the earth. I'm getting the negative electrons from the earth that are flowing up through my body and they act as antioxidants for my system because oxidation is a, a positive or elect electrically positive charge and we have to balance that with electronegative charge and we get that from raw food we get that from magnesium magnesium is very alkaline very powerful lots of electronegative uh, charge magnesium is also is what is the central ion of the chlorophyll molecule and it's what takes the sun's energy and turns it into plant energy which in turn goes into our body for our energy so those are a lot of uh, so those are a few of the things I think I had six down one was uh, the healing response from the, the triterpenoids, the uh, magnesium, and the mindfulness meditation, and the grounding and the earthing. I think there's a few more, but I may I'll put those on the next episode. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I sure did, and we'll see you next time. So, until next time, think good thoughts, eat good food, and keep moving functionally. And remember, bitter is better. And bitter is better. See you next time.